everyone, my name is Leia. It's raining and cold, and let's get cooking for Shabbat. Oh, also my parents here, which is so exciting. After after three years of waiting for them to visit, they're here. So exciting. Like, what do you guys like to eat in the cold weather? Um, I like hot chocolate, I like soups, I like mashed potatoes. So we're gonna cook some stuff again. I have some ideas of what to do, and some I'm just gonna go with the flow. So let's see what we're gonna cook today. Um, again, I like to cook healthy, fast, and whole foods. So let's do that together. Okay, it's freezing, bye. Are you ready to cook for Shabbat, Tavi? Yeah. yeah? You are ready to do the blender? Yeah, so again, my name is Leah. I live in the mountains of Israel. I um, love the holiday Passover. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite holiday is below. You can comment. I also love your comments. You guys are all amazing and positive, and uh, it really makes me happy. And I'm so happy we can share and cook together and learn from each other around the world. It's so, so great. <laughs> Yeah, so one of my favorite holidays is Pesach, ever since I was a little girl, loved it. Um, comment below, what's your favorite holiday around the world and why? I love it because I could be with my family and we cook and we, um, me and my sisters when we were little, we practice the song Manish Tana. It's the song that the little kids sing at the Pesach Seder, at the Passover Seder. Uh, the Seder is when the family gets together and together reads a, a book about the story of our people exiting Egypt, of the Jewish people. And it's so amazing, you know, we all come from families, my parents are here now, and <laughs> I asked them, you know, it's so great to ask your parents how they met and stories about their past, you know what I mean? And if you have grandparents, if, you, if you're blessed to have grandparents or uncles and aunts, also asking them questions, it's so cool to know that our families all come from different places and that we're really special because of where we come from, you know? So I always felt that with Pesach. I felt like the story of my people is so amazing that I can't believe I come from this. <laughs> like, it gives me strength to move on and to share this with my future generation and my kids, which is awesome. You see a yeah, truck? a big truck went down the hill. And he, he's coming back. Watch, he's going to come back. Truck. Truck. Guy William would love this. Yeah. <laughs> He's so obsessed with trucks. Peeling potatoes for mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. I'm with my daughter Leah in Israel making Shabbat. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. One of my dad's favorites. Mashed potatoes. Yeah, no, 
horses and the goats and the horses and the sheep. That's right. Mwah. Yeah. Take a video. Baby goats. He loves baby. I say, hey, I'll be gone today. I'll be back coming around the way. It seems like everywhere I go, the more I see, the less I know. But I know one thing, that I love you, baby girl. I love you, I love you, I love you. Are you ready? One, two, three, come on. I say, hey, I'll be gone today. I'll be back coming around the way. It seems like everywhere I go, the more I see, the less I know. I know one thing that I love you, baby girl. I love you, I love you, I love you. I've been a lot of places all around the way. I've seen a lot of joy and I've seen a lot of pain. But I don't want to write a love song for the world. I just want to write a song about a boy and a girl. Junkies on the corner always calling my name. And the kids on the corner playing ghetto games. When I saw you getting down, girl, I hope it was you. And when I look into your eyes, I knew it was true. I said, hey, I'll be gone today. But I'll be back coming around the way. It seems like everywhere I go, the more I see. The less I know, hey, put the car I in know put the car in one thing that I love you, baby girl. Mom. I love you, I love you, I love you. Now I'm not a highly metaphysical man, but I know when the stars are aligned, you can bump into a person in the middle of the road. I love when my parents come to visit. We always have such a good time. Um, we see our friends and family all around Israel. My dad came for his uncle's 98th birthday, which is amazing. It's my grandma's brother. Um, they were born in Austria, and then my grandma because wanted to come to Israel, but she was too old to come in. Grandma had to go to Italy and then to Shanghai, China. She lived there for 10 years and actually met my grandpa. And then they went to Israel and it was very tough. And I think in the 40s, 50s, there wasn't a lot of food and work. So then they went to Canada, New York, and then San Francisco. And I was born in San Francisco. So <laughs> again, like I was saying, the, the Passover story of the Seder, um, it's all these stories about her family. And that's a crazy story that my, my grandma had to go to seven places to run to freedom. So she, she landed in San Francisco where I was born, and now I'm back in Israel. So it's pretty amazing.
was amazing. So this whole holiday is about freedom, which is amazing. Um, I think there's a lot of things we're slaves to, like it could be anger, depression, anxiety, or phones, you know what I mean? So it, it stops us from being our best selves, to be our creative selves. So let me know if there's things that you would like to get rid of that be more free from, and how are you gonna do it? Because I would love ideas. <laughs> how is it? <laughs> is it good? All right, guys, that was so much fun. Thanks for joining me. Um, it's raining and muddy and gross out. Well, not gross, it's beautiful. But what are we going to do with me and my family? So today, my mom, dad, my little baby, he's two and a half, but I call him my baby. He'll always be my baby. And we cooked, so that was fun. That was fun. We cooked, and we joined each other, put on music. Yay! Let me know your favorite dishes. I love to cook new things and try new things. I appreciate every one of you guys, really. Um, so let me know your name, where you're from, so I can get to know you guys. And I hope you have an amazing Shabbat, an amazing weekend. May it become awesome, fun, amazing, and doing something you like. Okay, guys, Shabbat Shalom. Thanks for cooking with me. Teach the whole world to sing this song of Shabbat. la 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 la